also known as the New Manila International Airport, is a proposed Bulacan Airport that aims to alleviate the air congestion at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Naiya. This airport in Bulacan came about through an unsolicited proposal by the San Miguel Corporation to be built in the coastal areas of Bulacan, Bulacan. This is one of the towns in Bulacan, about 35 km north of Metro Manila. February 26, 2020. The Department of Transportation gave the go signal to San Miguel Corporation for the airport groundbreaking. SMC can proceed any time with the actual construction of the new international airport in Bulacan. Despite the clarifications being sought by the Department of Finance on certain provisions in the concession agreement, this Bulacan Airport will be a public-private partnership PPP, that involves the construction and operation at maintenance of a new modern airport in Bulacan with a design capacity that can be expanded up to 200 million passengers per year, consisting of four runways and all aviation-related facilities. It is a build-operate transfer structure with a cooperation period of 50 years. The notice of award was issued on August 14, 2019. Where is the new Bulacan Airport? The $15 billion or 736 billion pesos Bulacan International Airport project will be built on a 2,400 hectare property in Bulacan, Bulacan. It will have four runways, eight taxiways, and three terminals. It plans to handle 100 million passengers per year once fully completed in six years. As seen on the map, the property has a coastal location. Thus the proposed canal system of the Bulacan International Airport will have a ring road along its banks. This will serve as the flood mitigation to channel run of water to the Manila Bay. The actual construction is expected to start within the year 2020 according to the news. However, with the course of the COVID-19 pandemic in the country, the official start of the construction date is currently on hold. Bulacan Airport connected to NLEX and Metro Manila. The plans include the construction of an 8.4-kilometer tollway that will connect it to the North Luzon Expressway, NLEX, in Marilao, Bulacan. There is a plan to connect the Bulacan Airport with the Metro Rail Transit, MRT, Line 7. The plan emulates other first world countries where the airport is connected to the train or subway system that links to the metropolis. Airport passengers can come to the airport without the need of bringing a car. Likewise, when the passenger arrives from abroad or local travel, he, she doesn't need to hire a cab to go home. A planned elevated airport express will traverse the cities of Quezon, Caloocan, Malabon and Navotas from New Manila International Airport, NMIA, in Bulacan. Bulacan to Edsa, Quezon City, spanning 200 kilometers. While the stations are still in the planning stage, the MRT loop is envisioned to include a non-stop high-speed train that would allow fast transfer of passengers between EDSA and the Bulacan Airport. Ramon ang CEO of SMC. Promises travelers can get to the airport from Metro Manila in as little as 20 minutes. Comparison of Bulacan Airport and Clark Airport. Distance from Manila, Bulacan Airport, 34 km. While, Clark Airport, 96 km. Connection to Manila, Highway System. Bulacan Airport, planned connection to NLEX, planned elevated train system to connect to EDSA. Clark Airport, connected to Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, SCTEX, which can connect it to northern Luzon provinces, with interchange to NLEX that can connect it southbound to Pampanga, Bulacan, and towards EDSA to Metro Manila. Volume Comparison, Bulacan Airport, a planned capacity for 100 million passengers per year. Clark Airport, almost 25,000 aircrafts catering to 2.66 million passengers, actual data last 2018. Size comparison, Bulacan Airport, 2,400 hectares. Clark Airport, 2,367 hectares. As of now, iyan muna ang update natin sa nalalapit na pagsisimula ng konstruksyon sa Bulacan.